this video we will be looking at how to find information using the Film and Television Literature Index database. This database is an excellent online tool for film and television research, with coverage including film and television theory, writing, production, cinematography, technical aspects and reviews. You can access the Film and Television Literature Index from the Journals and Databases tab on relevant subject guides or by typing the name of the database into Library Search and clicking on the blue bubble link in the record. You may need to sign in with your university ID and password if accessing the database off campus. The guided search box allows you to build your search string and if relevant, focus your search in a particular field, such as the author's name, the article title, or within the body of the text. In this example, I'm interested in reality television programs and social media. You'll notice as I type that the database suggests terms that I might want to use. These are subject terms or controlled vocabulary, standardised words or phrases that are used to describe information within the database. Using these alongside your own keywords can help increase the number of results you retrieve in your search. Once I've entered my keywords, I can now either press search or look at the additional search options below the guided search box. This allows you to apply limits to your search so that you will only receive results that, for example, include the full text article, were published within a specific time period, or are of a particular information type. You can also apply these after you have run your search. For this example, I'm going to select the peer reviewed option to limit my results to scholarly articles only. As these articles have been reviewed by experts in the field, they are often more reliable and accurate. However, depending on your topic, you may also find non-peer-reviewed materials useful as objects of study. Here you can see the results of my search. On the left-hand side are the refine options, where you can narrow the focus of your search by date, information type, subject or language. I am going to limit my results to those from the past 10 years. I'm also going to select some specific subject terms using the Show More button. I've selected the main areas I'm interested in, reality TV and social media. From this page, I can also choose to sort my results by date, or I can use the preview button to read an abstract of the article to see if it suits my needs. I can add any useful articles to my folder. These will only be saved until the end of my session. To save them permanently, I would need to create a free MyEBSCO account. Selecting the title of an article will take me into the detailed record. From here, I can again read the abstract and also see a list of subject terms and author supplied keywords that describe the article. If you find a particularly relevant article, you may want to take a look at the subject and keywords to see if you can add any of the terms to your next search. If a full text version is available, you will find a link on the left hand side, as well as a link to view the references used in the article and the number of times this article has been cited by other articles in the database. Again, if you find a particularly relevant article, it can be helpful to explore these links as they may contain further useful resources. If the full text is not available, a link to library search will be displayed, allowing you to quickly check if the text is available via another source. On the right hand side of the record, you are provided with the options to print, email, cite or export the record. The cite button can be useful in helping you to record a reference for the article. Just remember to always check the reference for accuracy using either Cite Them Right or guidance materials from your school. The Search History tool allows you to review all of the searches carried out during your session. This can be useful if you've tried a number of different search terms and you want to see which was most successful, or if you wanted to combine two of your searches together to expand or narrow your results. From this page, you can also save your search or set up an alert to be informed when new articles are added that are relevant to your search. To do this, you will need to create a My EBSCO account. The 
The Help Centre is an excellent resource for getting the most out of the database and includes links to detailed tutorials that explore all of its features and search options. For further help on using the Film and Television Literature Index or accessing EBSCO databases, see your subject guide or contact us via Library Help.